Shalom, shalom. This is your brother Shemak out of the Great Millstone Atlanta camp. Before I get started, I want to give all the glory. Infinite praises unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Racha Kodash, Yahweh being the Heavenly Father's true name, and this only begotten son's true name being Yahweh Shai, both in the Hebrew language, whom the world incorrectly calls God and Jesus Christ. Also, want to give double honor to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who teach and rule well and who are the true leaders of the Hebrew Israelites within these last days. Also, want to give a shalom to all the sincere brothers that's pushing teachings truth worldwide. And shalom to all you sincere listeners and you sincere believers. All right. Came across um, truly while reading the book of Matthew chapter 6. Okay. And coming across these uh, couple of verses, I just thought upon, you know, Hey, show, show mercy to receive mercy, okay? Show mercy to receive mercy, all right? Of course, not to the point where, where kindness is, is exemplified as weakness, all right, or, or, or to the wrong crowd, but just, just putting in perspective and just being mindful, hey, and, that's, and, that's, and showing mercy to receive mercy, that's actually just being, that's actually wisdom when, when you know, when maneuvering throughout the world. That's wisdom, and the, and the scriptures teach us to use this wisdom, all right? It's, that's even going into being um, a good person, okay? That's going to be just being a, a, a sincere, genuine individual within this society, all right? Where it's just full of niggas, uh, people are just cunning, all right? People are looking to finesse and scam, all right? It's only but so many genuine, sincere, all right, individuals. And, and th truly, you're going to find those, th those that are doing will of the Lord, all right? But... Show mercy to receive mercy, and that just and this just doesn't just uh, refer to the to those that are doing the work of the Lord, doing the will of the Lord. This can be the ribs, you know, the women, Eve, all right, family members that are what in good standing, okay, of course, all right, co-workers, okay, even random people within the world, all right. That mercy just being, you know, just being shown, all right. So this is Matthew chapter six. <clears throat> Matthew chapter 6, verse 14. You know, a scripture came to mind. I'm going I'm to go grab Matthew chapter 6. Yeah, I'm going I'm to I'm stay, I'm stay with um, Matthew chapter 6, verse uh, verse 14. Well, how this topic truly, you know, how it truly came to mind through these scriptures here. This is Matthew chapter 6, verse 14. It reads, For if ye forgive men for their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if you forget, if you forgive not men for their trespasses, neither will your father forgive your trespasses. All right. So it is basically just, you know, showing like if you're not able to show mercy to whomever. OK, to wh whomever it is. All right. Who are you to receive mercy from the heavenly father? Because we know, according to let me grab that with Isaiah chapter 64. We're not perfect individuals. Our damn self are even if, even if we may have come into the knowledge even we're doing, we were serving the Lord to the best of our ability, you know, sincerely and in truth and sincerity as of right now. Okay. Still, this scripture still applies to us. Isaiah chapter 64, verse 6. It reads, But we are all as an unclean thing, and all our righteous, righteousness is are as filthy rags, and we all do fade as a leaf, and our iniquities like the wind have taken us away. All right. So, truly. In all, and uh, hey, Lord, that's why it comes down to the mercy of the Lord. It all comes down to the mercy of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh and being predestined to be delivered in these last days. All right, because we still are looked at as a filthy rags, man. All right, that's why we seek West Water. You have scriptures in Baruch chapter 4, verse I think that's 28. All right, that, that we were to what seek the Lord 10 times more because we knew we, we messed up, we were disobedient. All right, even in, in this current life and even in our past reincarnated lives, man. Okay, our right that's why our righteous righteousness is as filthy rags. Okay. So going back to Matthew chapter 6, verse 14, for if you forgive men for their trespasses, your heavenly father will also forgive you. All right, you know that you know that cliche saying, you know, treat others how you want to be treated. You know, if you want if you you would want mercy in certain situations or predicaments, all right, things that are you know it's not it's not it's not even that deep, okay? Show mercy. You know, I'm thinking upon um before but first before starting the video, I randomly thought upon you know, um a situation. It was it's, you know, just something light anyway, but it just randomly popped in my head. All right, walking out walking out of uh 
a restaurant, all right, with a couple of friends, all right, and seeing someone uh, back their car, basically they, they, they're parking in the parking spot, back their car, and they just light, light, lightly bump into mine. Just a light bump, all right? They get out the car, like, you know, you can just tell on Jake's face and all friends to Jake as you, you from you, uh, you Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, truly Israelites, according to the Bible. You can just tell in their face, like, oh, here we go with this. Because it's used to, you can just tell people are just used to others being unmerciful, all right? Always trying to get over on one another. All right, well, it just we, they, they got out the car, and I'm like, oh, I don't even worry, but that ain't nothing, you know. And just carry on, man. All right, and then that that same situation just took place, uh, so, something like that just took place to me, um, uh, well, just a couple weeks ago. I'm at a light, my foot, I guess I let the foot off the brake, and it was just slowly, it just slowly drifting into the next car that was uh, that right in front of me. And the man was like, oh, you good, ain't nothing. But hey, that's just mercy. Hey, show mercy to receive mercy, man. All right, in that situation, that that. Uh, concerning the lady, that was like, man, that was years back. It had been like four years ago, all right? And this situation just happened like two weeks ago, man, all right? But that's just, this is show that, a hey, show mercy to receive mercy, you know? And that's what, that's something people really not used to in the times we're living in. People are not used to mercy being shown, all right? And who, and who, who showed the utmost mercy? Yahweh Shai, all right? While being, while being crucified, Okay, while being mocked, okay, while being scoffed at, still show mercy. That's a different level. That's why we, hey, this is why we know this is the, hey, this is the son of God, man. Okay, this is the right, this is a rightful judge. Okay, this is Luke chapter 23, verse, hmm, Luke chapter 23. I just started where the sub heading. Luke chapter 23, verse 33, and you see the, cru the crucifixion. It reads, it says, when they were come to the place, which is called Calvary, there they crucified him in the mouth, in the male factors, one on the right hand and, on, and the other on the left. Then said Yahweh Shai, because that's the true name of our Savior. That's the true name of the Son of the Son of God, man, All right, of, of the only begotten Son. It says, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. They parted his remnant and cast lots. Look at for him to forgive them for they know not what they do. That's a that's a heavy that was, that was very heavy. Okay, people, uh, you had you had those of our own people coming against Yahweh Shai, saying he didn't actually do miracles. It was, he did he did it out of having demons on him. They called him a drunkard, all right, because he drunk wine. Okay, they were just he had, he received pure hate. Okay, and was still able to say this. That's different. That's different. Who is shit? Ain't nobody. I, we, we honestly can't just sit up here and say, oh, I, I would have said the same thing. Hell, boy, that's pride. <laughs> it says, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. All right? For, for To be able to say that in the midst of all that chaos, that's different. That's mercy. All right? And he was, and Yahweh Shai, even though he worked in that current life as, uh, and we received, the, you know, within his life, all right? He walked perfectly with the Lord, all right. But his past lives, he had, he had, he had, um, he slipped. He slipped at times, okay. As uh, this one example, we use Solomon, okay. Through if, if of course, if the those viewers, the listeners can receive it, okay, through his reincarnation, all right. As as being Solomon, as being one of those reincarnations, okay. The son of David, as it says in Matthew chapter one, verse one. It says, then said Yahweh Shai, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do, and they parted his remnant and his cast lots. So we as we are as what followers after Yahweh, as disciples after, after Yahweh Shai, ambassadors, represent, representatives, okay, we got to carry that same mercy. You know, if if it is like the scriptures say, be it possible with all men, it said it's if it if it be at all possible. I'm butchering the damn scripture. Let me see if I can find it. If it be at all possible, you know, dwell with peace. All right. That's what that scripture comes into effect. Man. You see, if it be at all, if it be possible, peace with all men. If I can't find it with this, it's, it's, it's cool. It's fine. Okay, but the, no, just roughly paraphrasing that scripture. You know, if like scripture say, if it if it if it be if it if it's at all possible, be at peace with all men. All right, if it's at all possible, man. 
Okay, but that's that's just showing that's mercy. That's mercy right there. You know, that's taking the low. That's all sorts of things. Okay. Hate not being able to find the scripture, man. Um. Wait, it's all, it's all, it's, it's all, it's all good. <clears throat> mm, this scripture, the Romans chapter 12, verse 17, recompense to no man evil for evil, provide things honest in the sight of all men. Mm, oh, this is, I, this is it, I guess this is it. Yeah, this has to be it. Romans chapter 12, verse 18. I'm, I'm just so, I'm just determined to find this scripture. <laughs> Romans chapter 12, verse 18, it reads, if it be possible as much as life in, in you, Live peaceably with all men. He said, "Yeah, if it's if it's at all possible, man, show mercy, show mercy. Whether that's like a, like I like I said, hey, if that's whether with brothers, especially with brothers doing the work of the Lord, especially first and foremost, that's over the that's over the damn family, co-workers, random people. No, that's over. Hey, they're doing the work of the Lord, doing something that's actually meaningful. You know, that it, it, righteous. All right, a true righteous vibration. Okay, and even showing mercy to ourselves." I want to get second edge chapter 16 and I ended off here. All right, because sometimes we can be damn way harder on ourselves than, than the damn world is, you know. <clears throat> but this is second edge, and we could beat our own selves up. But this is second edge chapter 16, verse 70. Yep, verse 76. And it reads, And the God of them, uh, I'm gonna start verse 75. Second edge chapter 16, verse 75. Be ye not afraid, neither doubt, for God is your guide. And the God of them who keep my commandments and precepts, says the Lord power, let not your sins weigh you down and let not your iniquities lift up themselves. So, yeah, let not your sins, you know, the shortcomings, the shortcomings in serving the Lord, all right, the sins, all right, you know, get in your head and have you be, uh, become very bashful to your own detriment, you know, to the, to thinking you, you know, you ain't shit, Lord, gonna, you know, you just going to, you ain't got no chance of being delivered in these last days at salvation, Lord ain't dealing with you. That that's they're, they're just putting basically demons upon yourself, you know. And, but this scripture here is very comforting because it says, "Let not your let not your sins weigh you down." And hey, keep pressing towards that mark. And as is uh, mentioned in uh, Philippians chapter three, verse fourteen, a hey, keep a hey, forget those things. Let forget those things in the past and just keep pushing forward. That's showing mercy even to yourself. If I can, if I can find that. Yep, this is uh, Philippians chapter 3, verse 13. Brethren, I count not myself to, to, to have apprehended, but this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forth unto those things which are before. I press toward the mark for the prize of the high calling of God in Yahweh Shah Hamashiach. All right, and we're, what we're doing is a high calling. This is, this is, the Lord has to choose you. All right, he has to call you, then choose you for, for deliverance. You know, and so we forget these those those slip ups, the shortcomings, whatever whatever the case may be. If he, the Lord the Lord still has you in the truth, hey, we we pushing. All right, we moving forward. We still in the game. You know, that's the good part. Okay, so Lord willing, uh, this lesson was um, encouraging and also uh, edifying, concerning you know showing mercy to also receive mercy. Okay, so I I went end up by giving all the glory. Infinite praises unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Recha Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. All right, and Shalom. Repent, Yahweh Shai is coming back. Repent, Yahweh Shai is coming back. All right, Shalom. Keep the faith. Shalom.